What's up everybody, welcome to another episode of the Knowledge Bomb. Boom! What's up? Episode 428, you like that, that did nice you? Right there. That was nice. That. Yeah, right. there you go. We got Coach Myers in here today. I'm still thinking about that right hand. That thing is a sleeper right yeah, there. Yeah, oh. that's right. But I'd hit him with the left if I had to, D, you know? <laughs> All right, so we got Coach Myers here. He's going to talk about pull-ups. D, let me tell you a story real quick. I went to Dustin's garage when I was, I'm here I, we could just one. drive. I was about 16 years old. And G says, G, you always want to do chest. Today we're going to do back. I said, all right, D, let's do it. He jumps up. He pulls off about 26 pull-ups. And I do one <laughs> and i go i need to work on this so dustin got me hip to the back game a long time ago so i want to hear what his you know kind of things he's thinking about when he's doing pull-ups how wide he likes to do them how he puts his hands and he's been a chin-up master for a long time so take it away dustin well let me just first start by saying you closed the gap a long time ago <laughs> you know what i mean so that uh that 26 to 1 gap didn't last real long at all i was not very happy i got beat that bad <laughs> That was my peak. I peaked in 10th grade, you know? All right, so a couple of keys with the overhand pull-up. Now, back in the day, I used to like to do them really wide because I feel like that's where you can really hit that high lat, and that's how I got those weights kind of days. Yeah. Bodybuilder days. Unfortunately, that way kind of bothers my shoulders now. So the way I coach all my athletes to go is just kind of about shoulder width or maybe even out an inch or two. And another thing to kind of preserve your shoulders is you're going to go low, but not all the way down. You don't want to go to a complete unpacked position. So meaning right here. Unpacked. Here now, a lot of that strain's on my labor, my rotator cuff. You want to go to about right there. I like that. See, my Good lats tip. are still tight. And there's a slight bend in the arm. In my book, that's all the way down. For sure. Versus here. So you're going here. You want to look straight ahead, you know, so you don't want to do that number. That's one of my pet peeves. You know, when they do this thing, it makes them think they're getting over the bar, but they're really not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look straight ahead. Also, feet together. Keep the glutes tight. So that way, mm -mm. you're not going to swing. Like and you can it. just rep them all day long. Now, if you are competing with your buddy, like let's say, like G, after he got pretty good at the pull-ups, now I do them strict, and if I gotta maybe just give just a little bit of kip to get one or two more so I can beat him, then that's fine. But until you need to use it, don't use it. Keep your glutes tight, legs straight, slight bend in the arms, lats tight, look straight ahead, and that's a knowledge ball. Well, D, I've always done it like this too, and I think I got it from, because of how wide that, Thing was we used to do pull-ups on all the time yeah, right yeah, like i've always dad's. felt like i could get more than grabbing the bar like you've always done them the same way haven't you yeah 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 and i wondered if it just because that we learned on that wider bar yeah so my dad used to have this rack that was made in the mill and i'm guessing it was probably a two inch pipe right yeah it was pretty so thick. you couldn't put your hands around you had to kind of go like this yeah but for some reason it feels like i can like leverage against the bar better whenever it's like maybe that. we are allowed to we're specialized yeah for that pull-up bar knowledge bomb episode 428 coach myers in the house how to do them pull-ups right